In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload an audio file to YouTube. Yes, it can be done. This can be really helpful, especially if you have a podcast that you want to upload to YouTube. Hey everyone, I'm Becca, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do this using Veed, the online editing software. There will be a link in the description below if you want to sign up for free today, or you can search for Veed, V-E-E-D, in your search engine. Once you have signed up to Veed and logged in, you'll be prompted to begin a new project. Hit the upload a file button and find the audio file you wish to use. Once your file has been uploaded, you'll be given the option to choose one of these three templates. However, I'm going to choose blank canvas. To be able to upload your audio file to YouTube, first we need to turn it into a video. The first thing we want to do is resize the canvas so it becomes the correct size for YouTube. Head over to the settings tab on the sidebar and under the size drop down menu, make sure you click YouTube. You can now see that Veed has automatically changed the size. Now that we've resized the video canvas, we can upload an image or video to make it more visually interesting. Head over to the upload button on the sidebar. You then have the option to upload a video or an image. Hit the upload button and find the file you wish to use. We can resize the file by clicking and dragging on the buttons on the sides. You can see down here in the timeline that the image is a shorter duration compared to the audio file. All you have to do to extend the duration is click on the box and then head to the ends and drag them out. We can also get creative and add elements. Head over to the elements tab on the sidebar and this will open the elements window. Here you'll have a multitude of items to play around with. I'm going to add a sound wave as this will look good with the audio file. Again, to change the size, we can click and drag out the buttons on the corner. We can also change the color. Like I said, Veed has so many different elements that you can try out and test. So make sure you spend some time looking through them all and finding what works for you. Another great feature that Veed has is automatic subtitling, which if you are uploading a podcast audio file to YouTube, might be worth having a look at. I'll leave a link to a few videos in the description where we walk you through how to add subtitles to videos. If you are happy with your video, go ahead and click the export button in the top right corner. You can then use the drop down menu to choose a resolution preset. And when you're ready, hit the export video button. Veed will then automatically export and render your video. This could take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed and your file size. Once Veed has finished exporting your video, you can hit the play button one last time just to make sure you're happy with it. If you want to make any changes, hit the edit video button and this will take you back into the Veed editing studio. If you are happy with your video, however, go ahead and hit the download MP4 button and this will be saved directly to your computer where you can then upload it to YouTube. And that's how you turn an audio file into a video file so you can upload it to YouTube. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Don't forget you can join Veed for free today with the link in the description. And for more easy to follow editing tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.